Hello, my name is Bill. I'm the pastor at Freedom Lutheran Church here in Gibbsville, North Carolina. Thank you very much for joining me for this time of devotion. We're in Holy Week and I'm going through and lifting up different elements of the passion of Christ, that is his suffering death. I'm lifting up those parts that mean the most to me and have really helped to shape my faith. And I thank you for entering into that journey and us doing it together, entering into the darkness with Jesus our Lord. I think this is probably one of the hardest parts of the story to lift up because it's a part where I stand the most condemned. You see, we all, as Paul says it, sin and fall short of the glory of God. And what is sin? Sin at its root is choosing to live our own way out of our own selfish desires rather than choosing to live God's way and following God's will. That's sin at its root. So anytime we are confronted with the choice, God's way or our way, and we choose our way, that's sin. And oftentimes this sin hurts God, hurts our neighbor, or usually hurts both. When we choose, let's say a, we have a commandment, right? Thou shalt not steal, and we choose to steal. When we steal, we not only hurt our neighbor by taking their goods or taking something that belongs to them so they no longer have it, we also hurt God because that is God's child that we're stealing from. So that's an example of what I mean by sin. We'll go get into confession and forgiveness in a minute, but I don't wanna lose that idea that sin is choosing our way over God's way. And we see that reflected in scripture. I'm in Luke chapter 23, and we're in about verse 20, 21, 22, right around there. This is Jesus. Jesus is has been paraded with a criminal named Barabbas, and Pilate is asking the crowd which one that they want released. Pilate wanting to release Jesus, address them again, but they kept shouting, crucify, crucify him. A third time, Pilate said to them, why? What evil has he done? I found no guilt in him, no ground for the sentence of death. I will therefore have him flogged as an example and then release the man. But they kept urgently demanding with loud shouts that he should be crucified and their voices prevailed. So Pilate gave his verdict that their demand should be granted. The people wanted Barabbas, not Jesus. They wanted a proven criminal, and they choose, chose that over the innocent king of kings. That was their choice. Their cho that was their choice. And, and we, in our lives, when we choose to do things our way rather than God's way, we too sin, we too cause harm. And so when you look at the story carefully, when we choose our way over God's way, we put Jesus back up on the cross. That is a heavy thing to bear. It really is. But let's get to some good news. Every Sunday, we, have, we start worship with what's called confession and forgiveness. It's a moment that we take to admit our sin before God. And when we admit our sin before God, God chooses out of love for you and for me to forgive and to forget the sins. They are no more. God chooses to erase. And Jesus, as we tell each other many, many Sundays in church. Jesus dies on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Jesus dies on the cross so that you and I might be released from what we've done wrong and we might be set on a path with God. Thank you for spending this time with me. Thank you for facing up to your own moment of helping to put Jesus on the cross but know, know that you are forgiven, that you are loved, and Jesus willingly dies on the cross 
for you. If you care to look at other devotions, you're welcome to go to our website, www.friedens.church. God willing, I will see you tomorrow.